So Exposed Installer is one of the best application you can install on a device once it gets rooted. This application allows you to have new features and customizing options allowing you to change a lot of things. You need to install modules to have new features and customizing options. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 best modules for Exposed Installer. Head to the description box below for the APK file of the Exposed Installer and instructions on how you can download the modules, in case you don't know. You'll also find the list of modules with the timestamp below in the description box. So the first module here on the list is Exposed Addition. This module will allow you to perform a certain action when you press or long press a hardware button. It allows you to remap a hardware button to a certain action. Like you can long press your volume down button to open up turds. You can also use it to skip to next song, kill application, open a power menu and many more. This application is very easy to use. To remap a hardware button you need to go to buttons, press the button you want to use, add a condition when you want this to work, when the screen is turned on or off or in the lock screen. Then choose an the action. You can remap this button as a power button, menu button, back button or to control music and there are many more other actions available. So that's all about this module. The next module here is Deep Sleep Battery Saver. This module puts your device constantly to deep sleep mode when the screen is turned off. During deep sleep mode, Wi-Fi, 3G network are turned off and the background applications like Facebook, Google services are also turned off. Your device will constantly wake up in order to download email, sync Facebook and other stuff. There are 4 different modes that varies in frequency, duration and other settings. Unlike other battery saver application, this one makes a big difference. The next module on the list is Gravity Vox. Gravity Vox has insane amount of tweaks for your phone. It includes lots of most popular Android tweaks that you can enable. There are tweaks like adding pie controls, customizing status bar quick setting, additional lock screen feature, controlling brightness with status bar, screen recording, skipping tracks with volume buttons and many more. As you can see the list, there are lots of customizing options and each page leads towards another page full of tweaks. Overall it's one of the best module. The next module here is Tinted Status Bar. The navigation bar and status bar on Android are black in color. Some phone do change the status bar color in some application but with this module you can change the navigation and status bar color to whichever color you want or to match the application. For example, green color in the Play Store, blue in Instagram, gray in Chrome. You can choose in which application you want this feature and in which you don't from the application itself. The next module here is Instagram Downloader. With this exposed module, you can have a download button inside the Instagram application. The download button is right there in the Instagram application below the photo or video. You don't require to install any other extra application to do it. The same can be done in the Vine with the Vine Downloader module. So the next module on the list is Exhalo Floating Window. This exposed module allows you to open application in a floating window. You can either open a notification or go to recent application menu and long press the app. There you will find the option to open in hello mode. You can open as many application as you want in a floating window. You are allowed to move, resize, change transparency level of the floating window. From the application, you can set the size of the floating window and where you want the window to open. Then you can choose the application that you always want to be opened in Halo mode. There are a lot of different things that you can change from the application. So that's all about this application. This application enables true multitasking. The next module here is Native Clipboard. Native Clipboard allows you to view history of all of the previously copied text. To access the clipboard, you need to press the clipboard button or long press the paste option and you'll have the list of all the previously copied text. You can choose whichever text you want to copy then. This module is definitely very useful. The next module here is protected apps. With this module, you can protect app with a password. But unlike other found in Play Store, 
it uses the passcode of the Android device, so there is no way to buy bypass it. It uses the Android lock screen to protect application. You can choose how long you want the application to be unlocked after it's unlocked once. You can even protect non-stored applications like package installer so no one can install anything without your permission. The next module on the list is One Arm Kit. This module adds a lot of tweaks and customizing options to your phone. It allows you to customize the status bar, changing clock position, enabling circle battery and a lot more. You have option to skip tracks with volume keys as well. From the system option, you have lots of tweaks. You can choose to have the advanced reboot menu with options to boot to recovery and boot loader. And you can also have do perform a soft reboot as well. You can add options to take a screenshot or record sc screen inside the power menu. There are a lot more tweaks available in this module. This module works with stock Android. They have also made one to work with Samsung ThoughtSwitch UI. The next module on the list is Boot Manager. This module will allow users to control applications that load when the device boots up. This will help users to reduce boot time and this application will not run when the device boots. Inside the application, all you need to do is select the application and that's it. In the donated version of this application, you are allowed to restrict system applications as well. So that's all about this video. Do share this video so others can know what they can do with their Android device. Do leave a comment below on your thoughts about this video. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more videos and see you guys next time.